Hello everyone. Well, here we are again. Since my last video on the NVIDIA filters, I've been asked on a number of occasions how these are set up. For a friend, of course. And to be really honest with you all, I was reluctant to create a follow-up video due to some of the, let's call it, feedback that I received. But on reflection, if this video helps just one person with vision-related disabilities to enjoy the Hell Let Loose experience, then it's absolutely worth it. So here we are, Hell Let Loose unfiltered. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to launch the NVIDIA overlay by pressing Alt F3 while in game. This takes you directly into the filter section of the GeForce experience. Now we will select styles one and then under the filters options, we can click on the add filter. You can have up to three different filters within a game that you can switch between, but I think I'm gonna to touch upon that in a later video. So under the add filter, the first one that we're going to create is the color one. Under the color dropdown, you have tint, color, tint, intensity, temperature, and vibrance. Now these are already set to the options that I use, and this is because I've had to delete them to recreate them for this video, and it saved my previous settings. But the tint color, that should be set down to 0%. The tint intensity should also be zero, temperature set at zero, and vibrance at 60. The next filter that we are going to add is details. And under details, the sharpen needs to be set to 20%, the clarity to 70%, the HDR toning to 74, 75%, and the bloom sets all the way down to zero. The next filter is brightness and contrast. And under here, you're going to set the exposure to around about 2% or 0%, um, the contrast to zero, the highlights to zero, the shadows all the way down to minus 100 and the gamma set at 0%. And then the final one under here is sharpen. Not sharpen plus, but just sharpen. And with this, you set the intensity to 50% and ignore the film grain all the way down to zero. So let me just expand all these out just so you can see them. And the color, there we go. So. That's about it. It's as simple as that to set it up. And again, these do work specifically for me. So there's nothing really stopping you to tune these to something that's more appropriate for your own personal needs. While I'm thinking actually, one of the other things that you can do is if you press Alt Z, you will get taken straight into the GeForce Experience dashboard. Under the settings cog and under the keyboard shortcuts, you can set the game filter to toggle on and off with a key. I use F9. And this is simply because some of the maps don't really work very well with the filters, uh, particularly around the snow maps. I think the brightness and how it's set just doesn't work as well as I would have hoped. Um, so yes, that's about it. The only last thing to say is if you update your graphics card settings um, in your drivers, the game settings will be deleted. So you will have to go through this recreation process again. But that's it. These are the filters I use for competitive play. Thank you all very much for watching. I genuinely appreciate the interaction that we had in the last video and some of the conversations and back and forth was really, really good. Um, as always, please do leave a like if you think the video deserves one and I will see you in the next one.